What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're going to check out Nomad's new wireless hub for your desk setup. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, check it out and give you guys my quick in depth review. So for those of you who have a wireless charging enabled phone and are looking for a USB hub, why not get two devices in one? So this here is Nomad's wireless charging hub and I thought this was a pretty cool idea for those of you as well as me looking for extra USB ports for your computer but also have the ability to charge your phone without having another accessory next to it. So anyways to pop this open just slide it out, pop off the top and the first thing that we get is the wireless charging hub itself as well as the charging cable for the wireless hub and that is pretty much it. So taking a closer look at this wireless hub here, I like how it's a very simple design that uh, won't really take away or distract anything on your desk setup. You can see we have five LEDs on the top, the Nomad logo engraved on the side, a rubberized coating on the top as well as the sides. And one thing I like about this wireless USB hub is the fact that all the USB ports are hidden underneath here rather than all sticking out like some of the cheaper brands. You can see we have three USB 3 ports, a fast charge USB-C port, and your power port to power the hub. To hide your cables underneath here, there's two rubber pads you just stick your cable through like so, so it keeps it in place. And after that, it just simply plugs in. So you can see here I have four different cables plugged in, the power cable with the power of the hub, USB-C cable, as well as two USB cables. So once you have them all plugged in, and there's also one more space for another USB cable, you can see here the hub does an excellent job at hiding all your cables and keeping them away and out of sight underneath the hub. And like I mentioned earlier, one of the unique features about this hub is the wireless charger built right on the top. When your phone is charging, an LED light does pop up here in orange to let you know that your phone is actually charging and it goes green when your phone is fully charged. When you add other devices to charge, such as my iPad Pro here, the LED light pops up as well and of course goes green when it is done charging. For the USB-C port, I plugged in my 15-inch Touch Bar MacBook Pro which can charge off this hub and amazingly it actually charges. So not only this hub can charge USB enabled devices, but also full fledged laptops like my Touch Bar MacBook Pro. Just wanted to make a quick correction, when your device is fully charged, the light actually turns white, not green. Nonetheless, it's still a pretty cool feature to have to let you know that your devices are fully charged without having to turn on your iPad or turn on your MacBook to find out if it's 100% or not. Overall guys, the first impressions on Nomad's wireless hub is pretty positive. Having the ability to charge up to 5 devices in one spot is pretty nice considering we have so many mobile devices in our lives, from GoPro cameras, tablets, smartphones, laptops, and everything in between. The fact that this has a built-in wireless charger means for those of us with wireless charging enabled phones can take advantage of that and also save one USB port on the hub itself for another device. In terms of any cons or changes I would make with this wireless hub, there really isn't anything bad to say about it. In the end, in terms of the design and look of it, it's just really personal preference, but other than that, functionality wise, it works as advertised. In conclusion guys, if you're looking for a USB hub that charges a full-fledged of multiple devices, including having a built-in wireless charger for your smartphone, you definitely can't go wrong with the Nomad wireless hub. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about this wireless hub, ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as well to help me out, and I'll see you all in the next video.